Hello. So uh, let's try this. I'm outside on a relatively windy November day, but I think I found a little uh, wind protected area here. I'm at uh, Bussy Woods. I got my uh, Dunkin' Donuts bagel and coffee. I don't know what all the, uh, I don't know, fancy printing, but I don't know what the hell it means. So I just got my uh, third COVID-19 shot, the bo so-called booster or whatever, about a uh, half hour ago and uh, at CVS Pharmacy. And... Uh, so I figure I'd stop for uh, some coffee and donuts afterwards and sit down and relax here in the woods and uh, enjoy myself. Yeah, I feel fine after the uh, first two COVID shots. Um, felt no side effects at all. I don't expect anything after this third one either. Um, all three times I got the Pfizer for uh, those who need to know all the trivia, I get just the plain bagel. I like the plain bagels. And I just get the regular plain Dunkin' coffee. Um, original stuff I've probably been drinking for 40 or so years. Um, it's good for me. <clears throat> so I'm using my Sony ZV-1 camera here and uh, it was advertised as, as a great blogging camera or just sitting in front of it in chat camera and um, I don't think I've ever done that before so we're gonna try it and uh, see how that works today <clears throat> Bussy Woods here is, uh, is empty um, there's only about three people in the entire park here, um, or three vehicles. I don't see anybody else. I don't know where. I don't know where the others are from the vehicles that could be walking around. But um, at this time, I have this place to myself. Now, unfortunately, this is pretty close to O'Hare Airport. And uh, you'll probably hear or maybe even see airplanes landing behind me. I know I can hear them now. And, of course, O'Hare, and this being Thanksgiving time, this is an extremely busy air travel time. So I expect uh, we'll probably hear aircraft overhead um, pretty much continuously. Um, but, oh well. Welcome to Chicagoland. So here's where I'm at. I'm at the main lake or main pond here in the, in Bussy Woods. Um, I didn't bring a tripod. All I'm using is uh, is the little handstand that I got with the uh, Sony Z1. So we're gonna check this out and see how it does. This is what you say is a portable, or extremely portable camera with, you know, with its size and everything. Let's see if you can see that. Yep. There's an airplane. I don't know how well this camera is going to capture that plane. But I expect several hundred aircraft.
Yeah. It's a gray November day. We got a reprieve. It's about 48 degrees now. And that's going to be the highest temperature for a while. It's going to rain tonight and bring in the winter weather, you might say. So, today is probably the best day to be outside and enjoy the fresh air. Let you have a look at what's left of the leaves on the trees here. Just a few. So it's a boring, lazy day. Kind of perfect, actually. I, I, I love this weather. I love the. Uh, I love being outside here. But we can do stupid tricks. Like, um, here's what time it is. Yeah, I got my iPhone. Now that's weird. It looks like it's displaying stuff backwards. At least on the display I'm seeing here. But it's 11.25 here in Chicago and 9.25 in Seattle where, uh, where my friend lives. But since we're doing stupid camera tricks there you go I can show you my ZV-1 camera set up here This is a, a wind muff for the microphone. Highly recommended when using this camera outside. These are the controls where I can start and stop recording and take photos and uh, operate the telephoto lens. So here's a little interesting test. Got the Sony camera pointing out there. And the cell phone. So here you go. I got the uh, cell phone and the uh, Sony cam, I think, pointed or framed just about the same. I think the cell phone is 
having a hard time focusing on the water. So here we go with a, another camera test. I got both the my iPhone and my Sony cameras pointed at the birds here in front of me. Looks like they're walking towards the water. This is my entertainment for today other than all the aircraft overhead. Of course the phone is being handheld. And the uh, and the ZV-1 is on its own little handheld tripod. Okay, so here's some more useless trivia for you. Um, these are my sunglasses. They're polarized, okay, and I, I love these polarized lenses. Even on a gray day like this, they help me see much, th much clearer, okay? But what's interesting, when I have these on, I can't see the display screens on my cameras okay like right now my camera screen is black and when I take these off I can see the camera recording me and um, this is not just this camera okay and this is not just the Sony ZV-1 this is all the cameras I have. With glasses on, I cannot see the display. With glasses off, I can see the display. That's because these are polarized. The same is true for these display menus they have in the restaurants now. Nobody has the old-fashioned plastic or paper menus on the walls. They all got the electronic displays or TV screens. And when I go into uh, their store, I cannot read their menus when I'm wearing my polarized glasses. They're totally dark. Okay, I have to take them off to see their menus. So, polarization works. 
Okay, I love it. I can see fantastically with these glasses. What I can't see are electronic screens. Now, if I turn the screen, if I rotate the screen 90 degrees, I can see it. Same thing when I go into the restaurants and stuff like that. If I rotate my head 90 degrees, um, I can see their menus. So this is a clear case of polarization at work. There you go. How's that for a bunch of useless trivia? More useless trivia. Let's see how the camera does reading my iPhone screen. Now see to me, looking at the lens, the feedback lens, The image I'm seeing on the camera screen looks reversed, but I'm wondering if it's not reversed, if it's just reversed because I have the camera lens flipped around and uh, all the text and stuff on the cell phone is going to come out clear and normal. So here's the uh, Sony ZV-1 setup with the uh, flip-out screen where the text here that I'm seeing is reversed. It's backwards. Now let's try an experiment. Let's flip the screen and see if the text comes the other way. So let's see if I can show you how this ZV-1 lens flips. See it's got a door here. Yep. Everything's more difficult when you're holding a camera and doing stuff one-handed. And it flips the screen. And now apparently I've got it set up so when the screen flips out like that, the image displayed here is reversed. I guess that kind of makes sense. So the person looking in the lens is not confused and seeing things backwards. Yep, that's it. So when I, when I flip the screen back, all the text that I'm seeing on the uh, camera screen is reading normal. So it looks like the Sony ZV-1 flip-out lens reverses the image when the lens flips. 